The other idea coming out of Canberra that really worries me, and I know it'll worry you, the, the idea that we can uh, strangle free speech on digital platforms by some uh, definition of what might or might not be disinformation. They're talking about fines over $6.88 million. Uh, there's a disinformation and misinformation draft framework that's been now set up by Labor. Uh, Jim Chalmers is taking credit for the budget surplus as well. We'll get on to him in a moment. But how do we define... <laughs> what, who, who's, who's this magician who says, well, that, that's disinformation, that's not? Well, the nature of this proposed legislation is that bureaucrats, largely operating out of Canberra, will decide whether your particular social media post um, constitutes either misinformation, that is unintentionally wrong, um, to, to simplify it, or disinformation, information that is deliberately wrong. And if they are of the view that it falls within that remit, um, they would have the opportunity to pull a lever that can inflict enormous fines, um, you know, 5% of global turnover or millions of dollars, whichever is the higher. I mean, these are, these are huge numbers for a social media company like a Facebook or a TikTok or, a, um, you know, or an Instagram-type operation. And what that's going to drive is much less... Um, bravery in the free speech space when it comes to the online world. And let's be real here. We already have the big tech companies doing things like censoring by sort of greying out or put, taking down posts that say controversial propositions like, wait for it, you can only be born a woman um, and, and stay a woman. You can't be born a man and become a woman. Things like that are being taken down now, um, and that's without a code of practice like this in place. If you put the long arm of government into this space as well and then back it with enormous penalties, the chilling effect on speech is going to be extraordinary. And for this to be dressed up in the language of keeping us safe online, and that's the way the government have pitched it, is ugly and offensive. You know, they're not prepared to act, for instance, to deal with the absolute torrent of disgusting pornography that children are exposed to way too young and often inadvertently online, but they are prepared to take draconian measures to stop people saying things they disagree with online. This should trouble every Australian.